They just have some decisions to make, Chris. And the decisions are tough ones. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I guess we could start with Emmanuel quickly. Contract extension. IQ, six men of the year, runner up. All his ass off this year. Uh, it was really efficient from the from the field. Efficient from three. What really surprised me, Chris, was Emmanuel Quickly's defense, right? Emmanuel Quickly was awesome on the defensive end. That was an underrated aspect of his game. And he, he all season long, he was efficient. And then obviously, come playoff time, he just wasn't the same but Knicks have a decision about Emmanuel quickly what do they do with him I guess I'll throw it to you and then I mean I can give my opinion but I've seen some contract screenshots on Twitter 100 million for Emmanuel quickly we've talked about that price range a little bit and we were comfortable before the playoffs about giving Emmanuel quickly 100 million dollars but now we have to you know think about Josh Hart and his contract extension but would you extend quickly this summer or would you actually wait another year and let him go into restricted free agency remember the Knicks extended RJ Barrett and didn't wait so would you take the chance and you know wait on Emmanuel quickly or would you extend him this year that's a that's a tough one i mean i think i think if the Knicks can sign him early to kind of like a team friendly deal, just considering that, you know, he didn't really perform well in the playoffs. You know, he got hurt. Can't really blame him for being hurt. I mean, it happens, but he's definitely somebody you want to lock up, whether or not you want to do it now or when he becomes a restricted free agent. Eh, I kind of get scared with restricted free agency. You know, teams can wow. just throw numbers at a player. And, you know, if we really want to keep him, which I'm pretty sure the Knicks want to, you know, it could be detrimental to us as far as, you know, what else we can do from that point forward, especially if they give him something crazy like, you know, 130, 140. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't see that in that, yeah. my opinion, I think they should try to, you know, sign him maybe to like 80 million, four years, 80 million. Some, I, I mean, that's floating around now. If you could get it a little bit under that, I think that'd be really good for the Knicks. Yeah. I mean, if you can try to low blow him a little bit, you know, maybe, you know, since he had a poor playoff performance but you know if i don't know man it, it's tough for me to like I've, I've been thinking about this for like a week now and it's it's been on my mind you know obviously we want josh hart back we want emmanuel quickly back but it's like I, i'm watching these playoffs and i'm seeing all these guys just come out of the blue and hit tough shots and i'm i, I just keep thinking about you know what if what if but i know emmanuel quickly had a great year i know he's a homegrown don't forget he's a homegrown player so it'd be cool to lock up him you know i I would honestly wait another year. Uh, and I know it's risky. I know you can't really do that. I know you you know what you just said is true. You know some of these teams can throw out some crazy numbers. You know Knicks paid R.J. Barrett a hundred plus million dollars. They didn't wait. They gave him the contract extension. So, you know what? In, in regarding Emmanuel quickly, I think it's you know what it's because i have josh hart on my mind yeah. now that we have josh hart and we want to extend josh hart right we're gonna so if we extend josh hart and let's say we extend him any quickly that is essentially like 180 plus million dollars tied up in our bench now i'm not saying maybe josh hart can be a starter but you're talking about evan fournier manuel quickly josh hart now whether or not the next move fournier we could talk about that in a bit but i don't know i'm just i'm just a bit queasy about that contract quiz I just am, man. It, it is tough. I mean, that's that's the kind of the dilemma we have right now. We have a lot of guys that are, you know, either really good or up and coming and they want their money, you know, and no fault to them. But, um, you know, the front office is going to have some tough decisions on their hands, whether, you know, that's letting a guy or two go or, you know, and, I, and going back to somebody like Obi Toppin, you know, it's it's not a given we're going to, you know, he's going to be here next season. I mean, if they have to dish out more money for quickly, more money for Hart, you know, it kind of leaves Obi as an odd man out, in my opinion.